Hey guys, how my beautiful people doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dan. Today I have a very exciting video for you guys. I'm gonna show you my best 2023 discoveries. I'm gonna go straight into the video. Before I start, consider following me on Instagram. Subscribe to this channel for more skincare related stuff. I have a TikTok account, you can check it out there. And uh, if you wanna help support the channel, I have a Patreon account. I'm gonna link everything down below. By the way, you guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this new kind of like a look, this new glow that I have. Lately, I'm kind of like giving up on powder. I'm not really mattifying my skin anymore, which I've been doing for years because I have oily skin. But lately, I'm kind of like digging this glow, which some people would consider grease. <laughs> I don't know, it, it looks, it gives me this nice smooth skin, glass skin or something like that. I'm, I'm kind of digging it. Let me know what you think about that. So, I'm gonna start with the cleansers. I have two cleansers here. This is an oldie but a goodie. I've been using this for a long time. This, this is kind of like a new addition to my skincare routine. This Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Facial Cleanser Refill, it's a very cost-effective option. It gives you almost half a liter, which is like 16 fluid ounces, for even 12 or 14 dollars on iHerb. They have deals here and there. Gentle, effective, contains oat extracts, which is soothing for the skin, calms down irritation, fog acne safe, fragrance free, alcohol free. I mean, there's not much more you can ask. Uh, because it's a refill, it's also kind of like environmentally friendly. It even says here 75% savings in plastic, which is great in my opinion. I keep rebuying this one, it's just such, such a good one. It does give you some lather, your skin feels clean, but not stripped after that. Next, I have the Malaysia Hyaluronic Acid Cleanser. You guys know how much I love this brand. It's a brand focused exclusively on foam acne safe skincare. Um, it is a really nice one. It's very hydrating. It has glycerin as the second ingredient, so a very high amount of that. It has a little bit of panthenol, hyaluronic acid. Um, it has this very like nice, luxurious feel on the skin. Uh, it is not the most uh, inexpensive. It's $26, which even for me, it's kind of a lot, but I got this one in PR just transparency but um, if you want to support the founder of simple skincare science he's the one who probably healed us all of uh, fungal acne um, they also do donations so uh, if you want to help support the brand I really like this cleanser they use aluminum for their packaging which I guess it's environmentally friendly I'm not very educated on the subject so I'm not talking a whole lot about it but I've heard it's it's a better option when it comes to the environment it's recyclable and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I really like also their um, uh, moisturizer. You guys know how much I love that, but I discovered that in 2022, so I'm not gonna include it in this video. Um, and I'm currently testing their um, cleansing balm. So I'm gonna give you guys a review of that soon. And by the way, I do have a discount code with Malaysia. I'm gonna link it down below. I think it's 1025, I'm not sure. I don't get any, I don't get any commission out of it. You guys just get a better price and that's it <laughs> um so that's it with the cleansers you guys know how i feel about cleansers i'm not like very crazy about it you just have to it just has to cleanse my skin and not strip it i don't really care about like fancy ingredients in the cleanser next i'm gonna continue with toners i only have one toner it's this one from um oh wait i forgot well it is a polish brand so i'm not sure about the name the name is aa my beauty power acne so what i like about this toner is how cost effective it is this toner is five dollars and you get 200 ml of product it has five percent niacinamide which is the best amount of niacinamide i think you can have in a product it's gonna help with almost any skin concern you guys know how to feel about niacinamide um fragrance free alcohol free from acne safe has a very watery texture Besides that, it has a little bit of uh, glycerin, some uh, mandelic acid, some like lactobionic acid, and some tranexamic acid. These are pretty like low amounts, most probably because I'm using this one twice a day without any irritation. It might give me a very a slight mild exfoliation, but nothing crazy. It's just nice for keeping your skin in, in a nice uh, shape, like giving it a little bit of ex exfoliation, but not going overboard with it. Uh, yeah, I love everything about this one. The texture, I like that it's very watery. I can use it in the morning because I'm oily, so I don't really like hydrating products in the morning. I mean, two hydrating products in the morning. $5. This 
kind of products just make me not really want to buy more toners in this case just because I, I see all these prices like 15 20 dollars for a product that well it just has maybe a little bit of niacinamide and some other fancy ingredients but <laughs> yeah <laughs> five dollars i mean not really sure how easy it's gonna be for you guys to find it the high amount of niacinamide is gonna help with brightness with acne with pore size basically any skin care skincare concern now i'm gonna move to serums i haven't really tried many serums this year mainly because i've kind of been creating my own in a way i would usually mix this toner which has five percent niacinamide and i would add some tranexamic powder some niacinamide powder a little bit of um, vitamin C, sodium soluble phosphate, um, a little bit of licorice root extract, which I bought from iHerb. You can actually use this one as it, on its own to brighten your skin. So I'm adding all these ingredients and I'm creating this really, really nice uh, serum that has a lot of beneficial ingredients. I would usually make it like 10% sodium soluble phosphate, 5% niacinamide, 5% tranexamic acid, uh, a lot of liquor shoot extract in it, maybe a little bit of MSM, a little bit of xylitol. So basically, I, I was kind of like making my own serum and using that. It doesn't really compare to anything I can find on the market. I would, I would usually have to buy like three, four serums to compensate for this one. So I didn't really see a point in that. Because of that, I haven't really tried many new serums this year. But I did try some very good ones. I'm going to start with this um, Bielenda. It's another Polish brand. I don't know why I have Polish skincare. 10% azelaic acid serum. It's a really nice one. It's again, very cost effective. You guys know this channel is focused on cost effective skincare. Uh, it's around $12. You get 50 ml of product. 10% azelaic acid, pretty good amount I would say. Uh, besides that, it doesn't really have any other fancy ingredients. It is uh, not from like safe. It has cetereal alcohol, but it's one of the least triggering ingredients. So it didn't trigger my skin. Also, you have the azelaic acid to kind of like neutralize the cetereal alcohol when it comes to fungal acne because it is an anti-fungal acne ingredient. Uh, it's kind of like going two steps forward, one step back. In long term, you're still going to go forward, but just a little bit slower. Didn't trigger uh, my fungal acne though. Really nice, really nice product. Azelaic acid, it's a very hard ingredient to formulate. A nice, luxurious feeling product. This one is up there, I really like the texture. It's still, like many Azelaic products, it still kind of like stinks my skin a little bit when I apply it. But then the next day you wake up with the most luminous, redness reduction, really nice looking skin. I don't know what's what's about Azelaic acid because it's, it feels irritating, but you wake up the next day with like the most calm, smooth skin. <laughs> Really, really been enjoying this one. If you guys can find it here in Europe, give it a shot. Um, of course, if you have access to like a 15, 20% azelaic acid, probably that's better. But if, if you feel like it irritates your skin too much, give this one a shot. It has only 10%. Uh, and the next serum that I found, it's one that I've been really impressed about. This is the Olival RA. Whatever, you guys take a look how it looks. If I find these products, I'm going to link them, them down below. But this serum has one of the most impressive ingredient list I have seen in a product. First of all, it has 0.1% uh, uh, retinol, which is retinol height, which needs only one conversion to get into retinol. I'm not going to get into all that stuff. The video is going to get too long, but um, better than retinol, in my opinion, of course. Um, besides 0.1% retinol, the height, which is a very high amount. It's one of the highest we have on the market. I haven't really seen much higher than that. Besides that, we have uh, glycerin, the third ingredient, allantoin, a nice soothing ingredient, bisabolol, ceramide NP, ceramide NC, ceramide EOS, ceramide EOS. It has so many ceramides. So, um, the phospholipids, uh, asexanthin, which is a very powerful antioxidant. It has one of the most impressive ingredient lists I've seen. Cholesterol. So that's what I like about it. It gives you all these anti-aging benefits, but at the same time, it keeps your skin barrier in a very good shape. It minimizes irritation. It repairs your skin barrier. All those ceramides are really gonna help with that. And you have so many types of ceramides also, because usually you find one, two, maybe three types in the product. 
This one has uh, one, two, three, four, five, five types of nice of uh, ceramides. It's mind blowing to me. It's uh, twenty two euros. I think I paid for this one, considering that retinol is a very um, expensive ingredient, kind of hard to formulate. You need to stabilize it. Considering that, and considering all the other beneficial ingredients added in this one, I think it's completely worth it. You guys know how how greedy I am. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, I've been using this one. I can kind of like taking a break from tretinoin at the moment. I've been I'm using only this retinal serum. Really enjoying it. My skin looks amazing. Probably in the best shape it's ever been. It's probably the best product in this video. If you buy one, let it be that one. Uh, next, I have moisturizers. I only have one moisturizer, unfortunately. This Medicasticide Chica Gel. It's a really, really good one. Make sure though, it's not, it's the gel, not the cream. They also have a cream version. They look kind of similar. The cream, I'm not really a big fan of. It has a lot of um, essential oils. The gel though, very nice ingredient list, very soothing for the skin, calms down irritation, has 0.5% metacasticide, which is the highest amount I've seen in the product. Metacasticide is a great antioxidant, a very soothing ingredient. It even has some anti-aging benefits. Um, it's very effective even in small amounts. They've been using around 0.1 in studies. This one has five times that amount. Uh, and I think it's one of those cases where um, more is actually better. When this texture has niacinamide, has panthenol. Um, it's not from blocking safe though, but it didn't trigger my skin. Uh, fragrance free, alcohol free, all that good stuff. Give it a shot. And now I have uh, some sunscreens and we are done with the video. Uh, when it comes to fungal acne safe moisturizers, I, I did try some this year, but none of them were as good as Gifting Gorgeous or Malaysia that I've discovered last year. So I decided not to include any of those in this video. Those are still my holy grail moisturizers. Um, yeah, sunscreens. First one is this Centella, actually no, Skin 1004. Madagascar Centella Hyalochica Water Heat Sun Cream. What the fuck are you guys doing with these names? This is the one, you guys probably know this one already. One of the best sunscreens. Really, really nice, very lightweight. It just gives you this nice, subtle glow, makes your skin look better than it actually is. Um, only new generation filters, UV filters. Fragrance free. It's almost fungal acne safe. I think it has one fungal acne trigger towards the bottom of the, of the ingredient list. Um, I really like that it only has new generation filters, which are gonna be great for people with sensitive skin. They've been tested to be much safer for uh, people with sensitive skin. Um, and yeah, fragrance free. Give it a shot. For winter time, especially, it's one of the best. It's not water resistant though, so that's a downside. Next one, I kind of discovered it this uh, I mean, last fall, so it's a recent discovery, but it is the best tinted sunscreen I've tried so far. Um, feels velvety when you apply it, really nice to spread. Uh, it looks so good. <laughs> it looks really nice. It doesn't give you this like cakey look that other uh, tinted sunscreens are giving you. It looks almost matte, kind of like a uh, satin matte finish. Uh, kind of keeps you matte, makes your pores look nicer, disguises your pores, covers your blackheads, gives a nice protection. It's fungal acne safe. It does protect against blue light because it has iron oxides. Uh, it has a combination of all the new generation filters, so not a huge fan of that, but besides that, no complaints. It is also water resistant. What I really like doing is I apply this um, Centella sunscreen, and then I would follow up with this tinted one. That way, I know for sure I am protected against any UV lamp, blue light. Um, also, this one offers me the water resistance that I need because this one doesn't. So, it is the perfect combo, in my opinion. Your skin looks amazing with them. Um, and yeah, the only downside of this tinted sunscreen is that it settles a little bit into, into my wrinkles, but that happens with probably almost all tinted sunscreen, so not a huge complaint, but should keep that in mind. And the last sunscreen, probably the best sunscreen, is this P20 skincare, uh, is sensitive skin. I have been raving about this one throughout the entire 2023. It's just such an amazing sunscreen, only new generation filters, 
extreme water resistance. Uh, it protects up to 10 hours and they've, they've done additional testing to actually prove that. I would still reapply at least once every three, four hours for this one. But if you are in high exposure environments, but they, they've done testing proving that it protects up to 10 hours, which is incredible. Uh, it has a very high UV protection of above 40, one of the highest I've seen, considering how good this one looks on your skin, it's simply amazing. Um, only new generation filters, fragrance free. The only downside is that it's not fungal acne safe, but again, my skin seems to like it. It doesn't really trigger any fungal acne. Um, yeah, cost effective, you get a really nice big bottle. I think it's 25 euros, but considering how much you get, I've been using this one in vacations, no tanning, nothing like that. It's just so freaking amazing. <laughs> Yeah, those are the products, my biggest discoveries for this year, guys. Let me know what you think about them. Let me know what your biggest discoveries in the world of skincare have been. Of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to this channel in case you want to see more skincare content. Um, I am, have a lot of content coming soon. I took a long break, but now I am back and here to stay. Okay, love you all, guys. See you on my next video. Bye.